I've kind of described this year, 2023, as the most successful worst year ever. What do I mean by that? Stay tuned after this. 2023 has finally come to a close and I could not be more ecstatic. This was one of the most difficult years I've had as a business owner um, in dealing with the growing pains of running a business. Well, let's recap a little bit on why that is. Well, uh, we moved again at the very beginning of 2023 due to, uh, well, uh, it was a stopgap situation between our previous place in North Lansing and moving it to downtown, but we needed a bigger space. So we found one and we moved in in uh, February, but it had an issue with the internet. Uh, it took forever to get the internet into our space. Um, and with that, we couldn't have people in the office um, as, as much, obviously. So we had this whole space with good parking, but we had a very serious uh, internet issue that we had to overcome. So that was the, the big thing there, which delayed bringing new interns in and a regular programming aspect. We finally got that up and running and it's moving uh, forward as it used to, but we had to put it on pause in 2022 for the most part, and then it was just severely delayed into 2023 because of the internet issues and trying to coordinate that. Uh, on top of that, we lost uh, Nick. Nick moved on from Introduce Multimedia. He'd been with us for four and a half years, and that situation kind of like had a big time ripple effect into um, how we were uh, uh, shifting roles and how we were going to uh, put on responsibilities and communicate with the clients that he was working with and, and onboarding. And that was a slow process as well in the midst of one of our busiest times, um, you know, the summertime. And with two large projects that were outside of Lansing um, at that time, it was just one of those difficult aspects that you know you go through when people move on and he was a crucial cog in the wheel here at Unidus but we were able to rise above that move forward and and get ourselves uh, moving from the fallout of all the situations uh, from both of those those things going on at the same time um, which means that there was situations in which people weren't happy. And so with that, uh, we lost uh, uh, some, some key clients um, in that regard, as well as uh, we didn't hold up our end of the bargain with some partners. And that just, you know, it was one of these things that collided. There's decisions that I made um, that may, may or may not have been the best decisions, but at the same time, a lot of things from that we all learned from and we all moved past and we all grew from, but it was really difficult um, in the moment. Uh, and so we really take stock in that. We really take pride in providing the best services for both our clients and our partners. And you know, when that gets strained, it really takes uh, an effect on me. And so, it was just one of those things that we had to move past, we had to grow from. And I think that we did that successfully. And yeah, so we're back to the same rhythms, the same, the same paces, um, and moving forward in that regard uh, without losing too much of a step, which is uh, a huge testament to my team. And because they did a lot of work, a lot of legwork, a lot of catching up, a lot of things that uh, fell to the side and also beefed up, you know, our communication with each other because that's what really solves all that. But there wasn't always gloom and doom. <laughs> like I said, this is probably one of our more successful years we've had at Introduce and we're th thankful that we're still in a spot to say that because of the the turmoil and the trials and tribulations that, that came from um, 
being successful and 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 doing what we do, uh, and then running into the snags that we did, we were able to uh, step forward and move in a, a positive direction. Especially with help from the small business grant that we were selected to get from uh, Downtown Lansing Inc. and and the state, and that was really helpful at a very crucial time. And then finally, I just want to go into a little bit about what's changing, or what 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 are we what are we doing going forward into 2024. Well, first of all, service-wise, um, we did sunset the UNO card program, um, and we're rolling that service into as a regular uh, business video service. Watch for that. I mean, it's not going to be the same, but at the same time, we still have the ability to do portions of it. But it just, as a program, it just didn't fly like I thought it would, and so. We're moving forward or moving past that. Secondly, um, we're reorganizing our live streaming service to be more of an event production service. So uh, a lot of the times that live streaming isn't needed, but still, re still recording um, sessions and uh, capturing and being a, a uh, service for those who need the video production for events and trainings and so on and so forth. We still have that aspect. We're making some major changes on the website that needed severe updating. So I'm working on that throughout the month of December. And we're actually going to combine the nonprofit in small business video pages to just one because they're pretty much the same services. But uh, if you know us, we know that we do kind of tend to lean towards more of the nonprofit world and the work that we do. And that is our mission, that is our goal to do that. But at the same time, the services really aren't as different between small business and and nonprofit. And finally, we're also going to sunset, you know, doing the social media packages. We found that over the years, we do less and less of social media focused projects, whereas we do create social media selections out of longer form videos that we already created. So I think we're going to lean more into that and we're going to sunset the social media specific service because that is actually something that most companies should be able to handle because it's more of a daily usage thing than it is about a specialized video thing that we can provide. So all in all, there was great things about 2023, but there were also some not so great things about 2023 and we embraced it all and either dove in deep or learned from it, which is what you have to do. You've gotta be flexible. You've gotta bounce around when you have this business and a business that is in constant change, constant technological change. So we're looking forward to 2024 as we're gonna be doing the same as well as more. And that's what we're excited about. We're excited about the relationships we've built. We're excited about the relationships we're going to build. And, and so we want to invite you on this journey with us as we keep the ship going. And so with that, please follow us um, on our website because there's gonna be a lot of changes there. Please follow us on social media, LinkedIn, Facebook and Instagram are where we are the most, as well as YouTube. And also subscribe to our newsletter so you stay abreast of all the stories that we have rolling each week. And like I said, speaking of stories, as we always say, there's always one, another story to tell. So thank you for sticking with us through 2023. Can't wait to see you in 2024.